Thyroiditis. Definition. Inflammation of the thyroid, called thyroiditis, is more often due to non-infectious causes and is classified on the basis of onset and duration of disease into acute, subacute and chronic. Types. Acute thyroiditis. Bacterial infection, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus. Fungal infection, Aspergillus, Histoplasma. Radiation injury. Subacute thyroiditis. Subacute granulomatous thyroiditis, giant cell thyroiditis, viral thyroiditis. Subacute lymphocytic, postpartum, silent, thyroiditis. Tuberculous thyroiditis. Chronic thyroiditis. Autoimmune thyroiditis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis or chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis. Riedel's thyroiditis, or invasive fibrous thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto thyroiditis is an autoimmune thyroid disease that may occur either in an isolated form or conjointly with other autoimmune diseases such as atrophic gastritis or primary biliary cirrhosis. It is characterized by three principal features: one diffuse goitrous enlargement of the thyroid, two lymphocytic infiltration of the thyroid gland, three occurrence of thyroid autoantibodies. Hashimoto's thyroiditis occurs more frequently between the age of 30 and 50 years and shows an approximately tenfold preponderance among females. Though rare in children, about half the cases of adolescent goiter are owing to autoimmune thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is the most common cause of goitrous hypothyroidism in regions where iodine supplies are adequate. Etiopathogenesis Autoimmune pathogenesis of Hashimoto's thyroiditis is explained by the following observations. 1. Other autoimmune disease association, like in other autoimmune diseases, Hashimoto's disease has been found in association with other autoimmune diseases such as Graves' disease, rheumatoid arthritis, pernicious anemia and type 1 diabetes mellitus. 2. Immune destruction of thyroid cells. The sequence of immune phenomena is initial activation of CD4 plus T helper cells. These cells then induce infiltration of CD8 plus T cytotoxic cells in the thyroid parenchyma as well as activate B cells to form autoantibodies, which bring about immune destruction of thyroid parenchyma. 3. Detection of autoantibodies. The following autoantibodies against different thyroid cell antigens are detectable in the sera of most patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. I thyroid microsomal autoantibodies, against the microsomes of the follicular cells. 2. Thyroglobulin autoantibodies. 3. TSH receptor autoantibodies. 4. Inhibitory TSH receptor antibodies. TSH receptor antibody seen on the surface of thyroid cells in Hashimoto's thyroiditis is inhibitory to TSH, producing hypothyroidism. Similar antibody is observed in Graves' disease where it causes hyperthyroidism. It appears that TSH receptor antibody may act both to depress or stimulate the thyroid cells to produce hypo or hyperthyroidism respectively. 5. Genetic basis. The disease has higher incidence in first-degree relatives of affected patients. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is seen more often with HLA-DR3 and HLA-DR5 subtypes features. Pathologically, two varieties of Hashimoto's thyroiditis are seen. Classic form, the usual and more common, and fibrosing variant found. In only 10% cases of Hashimoto's Histologically, the classic form shows the following features. 1. There is extensive infiltration of the gland by lymphocytes, plasma cells, immunoblasts and macrophages, with formation of lymphoid follicles having germinal centers. 2. There is decreased number of thyroid follicles which are generally atrophic and are often devoid of colloid. 3. The follicular epithelial cells are transformed into their degenerated state termed Hertler cells, also called Ascarnasi cells, or oxyphil cells. These cells have abundant oxyphilic or eosinophilic and granular cytoplasm due to large number of mitochondria and contain large bizarre nuclei. Clinical features. The presenting feature of Hashimoto's thyroiditis is a painless, firm and moderate goitrous enlargement of the thyroid gland, usually associated with hypothyroidism. In an elderly woman, at this stage, serum T3 and T4 levels are decreased and rayo is also reduced. A few cases, however, develop hyperthyroidism.
termed Hashid toxicosis, further substantiating the similarities in the autoimmune phenomena between Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' thyrotoxicosis. There is no increased risk of developing thyroid carcinoma in Hashimoto's thyroiditis but there is increased frequency of malignant lymphoma in these cases. Diagnosis of Hashimoto's disease is based on your signs and symptoms and the results of blood tests that measure levels of thyroid hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, produced in the pituitary gland. These may include a hormone test. Blood tests can determine the amount of hormones produced by your thyroid and pituitary glands. If your thyroid is underactive, the level of thyroid hormone is low. At the same time, the level of TSH is elevated because your pituitary gland tries to stimulate your thyroid gland to produce more thyroid hormone. An antibody test. Because Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disorder, the cause involves production of abnormal antibodies. A blood test may confirm the presence of antibodies against thyroid peroxidase, TPO antibodies, an enzyme normally found in the thyroid gland that plays an important role in the production of thyroid hormones. But the TPO antibody test isn't positive. In everyone with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, many people have TPO antibodies present, but don't have a goiter, hypothyroidism or other problems. Treatment. Treatment for Hashimoto's disease may include observation and use of medications. If there's no evidence of hormone deficiency, and your thyroid is functioning normally, your doctor may suggest to wait and see approach. If you need medication, chances are you'll need it for the rest of your life. 